This is a quick demonstration of the Terrain Line of Sight tool. Um, when you open the application, these are the data sets that are currently available. Um, several of them, uh, these were all collected with the UASs flown autonomously um, and then photogrammetrically reconstructed um, and put into the Unity game engine. Um, so each of them have different levels of resolution and fidelity, uh, but the most part, for the most part, all operate the same. Um, here's an example of Muscatatuck. Um, this area was um, flown over uh, about a day uh, and then um, processed using the, the workflow. So this is the entire area. Um, the way that the tools work are you have a, a unit, blue unit. Currently, you can just place one uh, on the scene. Um, and this little waypoint marker here is actually the path um, from point A to point B. And it does basically simple pathing based on um, the obstacles and things like that. So um, what you can do is you can add waypoints if you have several parts of a path that you need to navigate through. Um, then uh, the next one is the line of sight. So we have uh, this ability to, when you click add unit, you can place red units in the scene. And when you place red units, you'll notice that parts of the path here um, become red. And that means that the red unit, where it is at any given time, um, and where the path turns red, means that the blue unit will be exposed during that, um, during that segment. So you can see here when I place the red unit on top of the, the building here, um, you have parts of the path down here that become visible. Um, and uh, you can add or, or delete them um, as you wish. Uh, the next thing were the various terrain features. So um, we have a slope, which here this indicates the um, the slope value of the terrain at any given location. So green is a very low slope, yellow and red are much higher slopes. Um, not so much of an issue in Muscata talk about in more um, mountainous areas, it's, it's useful. Um, you'll also see the bottom line, the bottom option here. Um, this is, these have the, the grids, the MGRS grids, which are displayed in the bottom right. Um, and these are 100 meter squares and the thick black lines are 1,000 meter, one kilometer um, grids. Uh, and then we have the contour lines here. These are every five meter and every 20 meter, the thick black or 20 meter contour lines. Uh, we don't have those labeled yet, but that's what they are. Uh, we also have an elevation profile. This is just straight elevation based on the data. So the trees are, are, are higher, higher, in a higher area than, than the other uh, data. Um, you can also, there's a, a panchromatic, uh, I'm sorry, a, a, a different type of shading um, as well for the elevation. Uh, the other, the last thing is if you press one, um, there's a simple line measurement tool here on this, I'm uh, sorry, distance measurement. And this does a straight line distance um, between two locate two points. Um, and actually, if you do shift one, it actually just shows you the line above it. This is as the crow flies. This is an as the crow flies distance. So even though you see that white line going along the terrain, um, it's actually just a straight line distance. Uh, number two is actually an angle check. Um, this is or an azimuth check. This was mostly for um, uh, a request by the Marines to uh, do angles of fire depending upon an asset that was placed. So one and two do, do those tools. Um, and if you exit out, uh, you can in the top right, and then you can go and reload um, another data set. So enjoy it.